Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Let's talk about highlighting rows of a multi-row matrix visual in Power BI. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified. Let's check it out. Here I have this table with few measures. The default behavior of the slicer is to filter for selected items. But in my first example out of two, I want to highlight the selected manufacturers. First example is easy, but the real problem here is different. As that you can see, I also have a subcategory slicer, and if I select something from this slicer, first manufacturer should be highlighted, and then if I expand the row headers, I should see the highlighted rows of selected subcategories. Let's first highlight the selected manufacturers. For that I will create a table containing the list of all the manufacturers. Our slicer will use column from this table, which will be disconnected in the model, because we want a different solution than filtering the visual. Currently, this slicer will not show any action. So let's create a simple measure in that I just need to validate if current value of the manufacturer from the matrix is in selected values of this slicer or not. As said, this first example is very simple, but this is important to move to the real DAX challenge, which we are going to solve here. Here I get value one for selected manufacturers and for rest, the value is zero. Now I can change the value one to a color and then use this measure to conditionally format background of my total sales, profit, and total cost. For that, you can go to the formatting section after selecting the visual. Here from cell element, you can choose background color, and then format with field, which is nothing but my highlight measure. This way, the background for my profit measure will be highlighted, and I can use the same for other two measures in my visual. And we are now able to highlight the row for selected manufacturers. Till here all looks good, but since now, we are going to solve the real DAX challenge, which is the real motto behind this video. And that is to highlight manufacturer for selected subcategory, and then only selected subcategories under this. So, I am creating here a summarized table with manufacturers and subcategories. Because I need to use a subcategory slicer from this table. Our existing DAX measure will not be able to solve this problem. And I will show you why. I am selecting Bluetooth headphones and it is able to highlight the manufacturers. But if I will expand one manufacturer, I see here all the subcategories are highlighted. I have selected only Bluetooth headphones and I wanted to highlight only that row if matrix is expanded, but it is not working as expected. For that, we need to change our highlight DAX measure and apply some other logic for this. Let's do that. So I am creating a variable in that, first of all, I am checking if manufacturer or subcategories are in scope or not, because I don't want my logic to be applied on the grand total. Is in scope function can be used here for this, and then I basically want to create a summarized table having manufacturers, subcategories, and an additional column validating if the subcategories are in selected subcategories from the slicer or not. I can return one or zero for this, and then with some X, I can aggregate them. As a subcategory level, this measure will return one for each selected category, but for a manufacturer level, it may add all the subcategories inside it and show more than one. Here again, I want to apply this only if my slicer is selected. Let's first see the result of this measure in our matrix visual, and then we will apply the conditional formatting using this. I have not selected anything, and it is showing all zero. Let's select some categories from the slicer. Here, I can see a value one for my selected subcategory. As said, it will add these values for a manufacturer if more than one subcategory is selected. So our conditional formatting will work accordingly. I can remove this measure and then from formatting section again, I will select cell element. And this time I need to format based on a rule, which is if value is more than one, then apply a background color, otherwise not. And this way it will again highlight as expected. Here I have applied this for total sales, saying we need to do for remaining two measures, which is total cost and total profit. With that, we are now ready with our solution. Let's test if it's working as expected. So I am selecting here camcorders from my subcategory and it is highlighting the corresponding manufacturer. And if I expand it, it will only highlight the selected subcategories. And this is what we wanted to achieve. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more such interesting solutions in Power BI.